that we're going to do today, your name will be glorified. Amen. We ask Almighty God, even as we start the program, that you go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King of glory, let your name be glorified today. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are here and you are happy to rejoice with the Jacksons, praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, there is something that you are doing that I'm not happy with. We are not gathering together to say to say uh, service of song. That is not our portion. But we are here to celebrate life. We are here to give glory to God Almighty of the, for what He has done in the life of the Jacksons. Brother, let us rejoice with them. Let's be happy. Let's be. Let's shout a better hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We want to seize this opportunity again to welcome each and every one of us to the presence of God Most High. Yes. Today, something miraculous will happen in your yes. life. Yes. You know, as many that have crossed 70, we say congratulations. Yes. And as many that are yet to be there, we say you will get there in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. So we don't even continue in the service today by singing Him One, which is to God be that glory. Yes. Hallelujah.
bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we are going to treat this. And uh, brethren, what we are learning these days is you don't have to wait till the time you are dead before people start talking about you. We want to hear what people think about you while you are still living. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have here Mr. Aki Jackson, uh, Reverend uh, Sam, uh, Simpson Campbell, and Ms. Linda Sharman. I will take two others to uh, talk about our brother. Please, we're just going to give like maybe two, two minutes. Praise the Lord. We have Mr. Aki in the house. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to come and help us celebrate my brother's 70th birthday. On uh, my mother's side, he is the first in our generation to make 70. So we are grateful and thankful. God has also blessed him to surpass our mother put him see 70 and he will keep him to suppose our father surpass him who made it to 82. So I know he will do more than that. We've had our issues, who doesn't? We are siblings. But that is nothing compared to the fun we've had together, the help he's been to me and my family. And um, you all know him here better than I do because he's willing to do everything for you all, but not for us. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's been he's been great all around. Um, we are thankful for him. He was a great example. He did a couple of things to me that I will never forget. One of the ones I remember the most was um, when I started uh, eighth grade, form one. Eighth grade, he was in the sixth form, which is like, um, say, 12th grade, but a little bit past 12th grade. And uh, the first day of school, he knew I had some change in my pocket that my parents had given me to go buy bread from the Ashwoods. This is a bread shop not too far from Prince of Wales School. And he and his friends were there. And the minute I got there, he got into my pocket and took all my money. <laughs> so I ended up not having any lunch that day. So that I will never forget. I'll forgive you. Uh, <laughs> no. You don't forget those things. They are traumatic in somebody's life. <laughs> The other thing I'd like to, to mention was um, when I came to Dallas, he helped me obviously to get settled here in Dallas and um, I started working and I pulled my back and I was in such pain I couldn't get out of bed. So I called him and he left his job and came to the house and took me to the hospital and stayed with me all afternoon and brought me back home. And I was really grateful for that because there was nobody else I could turn to at the time. <laughs> But as we celebrate his life, I want to wish him all that he wishes for himself. Amen. I know God will continue to prosper him. Amen. That his children and his grandchildren will have a great tune to fill. And that all that he does, he will prosper. Amen. Somebody, God is good. There's uh -uh. somebody in the house. Somebody, God is good. And all of the time, it's good to celebrate this day. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? He said, when your friend is alive, give him the flower. Not when they are dead. The first day I met Honorable, it's like I know him forever. 
the first day I met him, we connect. Like we come from the same village. Because this guy, every year, he must reach out to me. And whenever I invite him to my church, he's there. That's a brother. Not just a friend. And that's why Jesus called his the follower. He said, you are my brothers. And that's one of my brothers in Dallas. When I'm in trouble, that's the first person I call. I say, Honor, what can I do? And by God's grace, he will respond to me and he will direct me. And by God's grace, he's going to reach out to me. And every year, you know, in this country, they celebrate 4th of July. That guy, he will never forget my ticket and my children. We'll be together, we'll be walking, like, we'll be wearing his short pants. I will be like, we are all just the same. He don't care how educated he is. He just care about you. And that's family. When family care about you, he don't care if you have anything or not. He cares about you. He loves my children. He loves my ministry. This is a person. I don't even know how to praise you, my brother. Or I can say, may the Lord bless you. Amen. Seventy years, just just the beginning. Yeah. When he tell me, uh, he said I'm celebrating my seventy years by the, I say, ah, are you serious? The guy is just, you will not even know that. I thought he was in fifty. Yeah. <laughs> but because of that, I add more fifty to you in Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. For God's sake, he said, I will bless you with long life and prosperity. And you will never suffer. Because when you fall for somebody, God will send somebody to rise for you. Amen. Amen. And every one of you guys that are here to support this family, may God remember you. Amen. Amen. God, you are very important to me. Amen. Amen. When you value them, God is going to value you. Amen. When you leave them, God is going to lift you up. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, I receive it in Jesus. I receive it in Jesus. Say, I will pass 70. I will pass 70. And I will go to 100. In prosperous years. In Jesus' mighty name. Come and give a clap offering. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. To God be the glory. I am proud and excited for my first cousin, Honorable Pastor Jackson. I love you. Patrick has always been there for us. Patrick, I don't know what to say because I'm so excited. 70. That's, anyway, I just give God all the glory. Because not all of us can get to that age. And I'm, I'm praying for you, for good health, long life. And thank for all you do for the family. You are here, but you still take care of my daddy. And my daddy said to wish you a happy, happy birthday. He said to, to for his light to shine, for, for his grace to be upon you wherever you go. When I came to this country, <laughs> Patrick had always been there for me. When I was back home, he always go, and I was always looking forward to that money. He always go and give me money and said, go take care of yourself. And up to today, I still remember those days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And may God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm just going to take two more from family members. Uh, Pastor St. John, please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God and give God the Lord the glory. Sir, we salute you from the Ocean Department. Mm -hmm. ACCGLA Austrian Department. Praise God. When I got the message that I brought her here, clock sent, I already call him Papa J, Papa J. Seven, I said, Are you sure? I went back to him, Are you sure? Seven, seven, zero. And then I I used to follow this church on the Facebook. Thank you. And, and Pastor put it there again, this picture, the other picture that we have here. Say seven zero. I said, oh, it must be really <laughs> seven zero. <laughs> so, just to represent the Austrian department briefly, this is one of the people that so reliable mm -hmm. to serve. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir, for saying that uh, we need to honor people when they are there to hear it. 
and I'm using this one for the uh, to talk to our young adults, our teenagers. Even Papa at 70 is still serving God. Yes. So what are we waiting for? Mm. <laughs> and then when I knew that uh, oh, he's going to bed of life, oh, he's, uh, he's in the house. Mm. So he tapped the gym from uh, Pastor Chris. <laughs> The pastor in the house is a workaholic. Maybe you don't know him. <laughs> we have been together from Evan Grosso Embassy. He was the first one that welcomed me to RCCG worldwide. Mm. But back to you, sir. God will give us more glorious years Amen. to serve him. Amen. And I thank the families too for releasing him to us in the department. Amen. Really enjoy him. He doesn't say I want to be in the front when it comes to the convention, or I want to be the Lord and Savior, nothing like that. He will come and say, Where do you want me to stand? Where do you want me to walk? Although I came late, I'm very sorry, but I will still do the job I need to do. So, on behalf of the Russian Department, North America, we say happy birthday to you, sir. Many more to come. Thank you, so my sister. All right. Sorry, I don't have your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mr. Patrick, congratulations, sir. Getting to 70 is a, is a great blessing. We are even more blessed to be with you and also of the life's valuable lessons we've learned from you. I salute you to be a great person, a confident, a mentor, a reliable person, and a counselor. The list goes on and on. And I wish you all the best that life could offer. Amen. Without, there is no, there is not a successful person or a man without a strong woman. Miss Emily Jackson, I salute you. You are a woman of substance. I admire you. I get strength and inspiration from you. May God continue to bless you and usher you with more blessing and may He increase your um, anointing more abundantly. Amen. On behalf of my family, especially my mom, Mr. Mr. Patrick, I want to say blessings from us to you. Amen. I thank you. God bless you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, we're going to be going to uh, our sister is going to give us a solo, Sister Victoria. But before she comes, let me say something briefly about our brother. I know what uh, what everybody has said today is true. They are all true. No, there's nothing that's. If you really know our brother, you will know that uh, all these things that we are saying, you know, is actually true about him. Very humble a person. You know, we work together here in this church. He's serving the national usher, but this is his primary home. He's serving here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter any time you call upon him, the way he will even attend to you, you will not know he's 70. That's the truth. You know, and you, you have any issue, you talk to him, he's going to, whatever he has, it's not limited to just the word of mouth. He will encourage you, he will give, you know, try to give you direction, pattern. So he's an encourager. He's a loving brother. You know, humble in heart, humble to the core. You know, it's a person that you know is really worthy of emulation. That we celebrate you today, and we ask that God Almighty will grant unto you many more years in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's invite our sister. Let's put our hands together, even as we invite Sister Victoria Porter for the soul. Hallelujah. Um, first off, I want to say um, happy birthday, Daddy. 
I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done in my life and everything you'll continue to do in my life. And I just love you so much.
May you discover your gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen. Eternal King of Glory, we just want to take this time to appreciate you in our midst. You daily load us with benefits. And there's no day we don't have any reason to thank you. Daddy, today is another gathering of you. Purpose day to thank you for your faithfulness. Faithfulness of love, faithfulness of favor, faithfulness of preservation, faithfulness of providing. Lord, we look at all this and we realize that it couldn't have come from anywhere other than you. Yes, Lord. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father Almighty, for the little time we have to share your word this hour. Father, I pray that you speak to me in Jesus' name. Amen. You give your children a hearing here Amen. and they will receive an act. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let nobody leave you at the same. Amen. And do something in your life. Amen. And let your name remain glorified. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Of course, let, let me just remind you, this is uh, a message of celebration and thanksgiving. Don't expect it to be too long. First of all, I would like to congratulate the family of our brother Jackson here yeah, and back home in Sierra Leone. The children and the grandchildren, Bread of Life family, particularly the wisdom group. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, relatives, well wishers, of course the co-celebrant. My dear sister, Emily Taxi. Can we all jam our hands together for Jesus? Like I said for us, it is a day of celebration and thanksgiving. Ephesians 5 12, 20. Bible says, giving thanks always for all things unto the God and the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 30, verse 19. The Bible may call to understand in out of them shall produce thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. Psalm 69 verse 30, Bible says, I will praise the name of God with song and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Brethren and people of God, you agree with me that not many people have the opportunity of seeing their celebrity, I talk later about, uh, about celebrating it. Not many before they die. The glory to God. Amen. The celebrant of today has confirmed and fulfilled scripture. Amen. Psalm 90 verse 10. The Bible says that the, the days of our years are three score years and ten. And he by reason of strength, there may be four score. Psalm 84 verse 7. The Bible says they go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appearing before God. Now, because Brother Jackson is a minister of God here, always appearing, always doing something before God, serving him with all he has, you will go beyond 80. Yeah. It's not me that said it. The Bible says you go beyond your 80. Yeah. And some people saw it, they see you and say, ah, 70. Tell them they, ain't seen, they, have, they have not seen anything yet. Yeah. At 90, you still be standing straight. Yeah. You are not, I say, at 90, you still be standing straight. Yeah. I forget your stature. <laughs> you know, some of us, when we grow a little older, they say we begin to bend. Then you have nowhere bending to. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Brethren, it is a fact. And we see this every day that many are celebrating their seventy birthday in incarceration. Some people are even on the sick bed fighting for their life. 
Some celebrate their seventy birthday under unknown God, not before my father. And some people celebrate their seventy birthday in frustration, in confusion, life that is not fulfilled. But today, we celebrate with our brother because he is where he wants to be Amen. among his family, among church members, among friends and relatives. Amen. Somebody say glory. glory. Somebody say glory. glory. I'm going to give us seven points why today's celebration is key. And we give it everything it takes. Seven. And I can see maybe a few people, maybe one or two people are not from West Africa, but Africa generally. In a series of articles published by the medical journal, The Lancet, L-A-N-C-E-T, you know, about the South, South Africa, Sub-Sahara Africa, which include Nigeria, Syria, Cameroon, all of those people in West the west coast of Africa. The report said that Sierra Leone is one of the countries with that with the largest rate of stillbirth in the entire world in the forties and in the nineties. That's where I'm going. Thank God, Jehovah. But I got to who was born in this harrowing period, escaped death, and was not among the unfortunate staggering infant mortalities. Including the speaker, because we're not too far away from each other. <laughs> you know why? What happens? Some other people will tell you, in those days when you have that pregnancy, how many can you, how many can you keep three, get three children out of nine pregnancies? Seven pregnancies, you can manage only one. So people will even have pregnancy for five years and nothing will come out of it in those days. And but that's the period that our brother was born. And I'm, I thank God that he's, he's surviving. Yeah. You see, he would rather, and he would rather prefer that is the one that is hurt, that is, is the one that is at a disadvantage than you that is dealing with. The O stand for, and I even said that when we, uh, we didn't know this, we were there doing time to get things ready. And he came with his uh, uh, son in law, and he was doing something. Holy Spirit will drop, drop it to my heart. That, that is what I told you. What, do you know what the O stands for? Organizer Emeritus. <laughs> This man organized things. Any committee that we appoint him to be, he always contributes. I mean, I don't know what else to say concerning this man. The Lord will bless you, my brother. Amen. The last one is noble. A noble person is highly respected in business circle, in community, and even in, uh, uh, even in the church. God gave him all these traits. Honorable, Honorable Jackson. <laughs> no prefix Jackson. <laughs> now, it also my interest you to know that Brother Jackson was elected to Rowland City Council in 2007 and became the first black man, color man, to hold that post. His excellent performance as a councilman led them to appoint him as deputy mayor in 2009. I was there. <laughs> but I just think, you have come a long way. And God has been good to you. The grace and the anointing to finish well, God will give to you in the name of Jesus. I want to go back to what I said the other time. Very, very, very simple. The day this man gave his life, things started changing. I've told people many times, if you surrender your life, 
and things doesn't change in nine, nine, in three months. I guarantee, go back to what you were doing before. I've never seen anybody that I come back, or people that have ministered to, or that I have, you know, uh, asked to give their life. I say, if after three months, nothing happens, go back. And immediately the person, I just go back, Father, please, I, I have already confessed you that it, something must happen. Something must happen. Amen. And it does happen. Amen. I don't know who's here. You want things to, to, to start getting better, for things to get smoothly for you. There's no any other way, there's no magic, there's no equation. The only balance is question is to put Jesus in first. Let's do that together. Praise the Lord. Oh, please say it as if you mean it. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to go to the Thanksgiving and we want our brother stand up majestically and go to the back majestically. <laughs> yes, with the family, please. And then you're going to dance forward and we're going to all rejoice with you. <laughs>
shall be better than the yeah, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You will look at yourself and you look at your family and you will kneel down and you will thank God on the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. All those hindrances on your way that my God will remove them. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. People will see you and they will see the hand of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. The glory of God shall be for you. Yeah. And the work 
you have been doing for the Lord, as the first one has said, and we know all that you have been doing for God in secret, the Lord shall reward you in the open. Yeah. Jesus, the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Thank you, my Father. God will still continue to use you as the extension of your officers. I always say that, Lord, continue to use me as the extension of your hands. Then, look, God does not come down to do anything for anybody, but He uses His own. God will continue to use you. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. In the name of Jesus. As God has trusted you, you will not fail me. In the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord shall be upon your life. People will see you and know that indeed you are a child of God. Thank you, my Father. I pray, O oh Lord, that all of us that have come to, a, to celebrate life with this man, our day on, on, our, on our day of joy, people will be around us. In the name of Jesus. Joy of the Lord shall be all your strength. Yeah. Thank you, my Father. You, Blessed be your holy name. Yeah. Blessed be your holy name. Yeah. In Jesus Christ's wonderful name, Amen. we are free. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Uh, just a quick announcement. I think this belongs to one of the family members. It's going to be $10. See me after our service. Praise the Lord. Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, after the service, there is reception uh, in the event hall right behind the sanctuary. Please just take the side and just go to the reception. Our uh, reception hall, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you uh, that you know, came to celebrate with this family. God Almighty, we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Like mommy prayed, the day you two are celebrating, people will be around you. Amen. And God will make you to even surpass everything in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace of God will continue to manifest upon your life. We appreciate all of you coming today, and we say God will continue to bless you all in Amen. Jesus' name. Uh, let's rise up, even as we close the service. Our Father, our God, we want to thank you. We call upon you when we started. And indeed, you showed up. You have made today a memorial in the life of somebody here. Daddy will return all glory back to you. The importance of any gathering is for somebody to know you. Thank you because you have manifested today. Thank you because the celebration of 70 years of our Father, is not in vain. You have indeed imparted life. Daddy, to you be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, as we are rounding this one up, we commit the second aspect into your hands. We say, Father, take preeminence in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything go well in the mighty name of Jesus. And for the celebrant, Father, give him a special birthday gift in the mighty name of Jesus. He's celebrating today. Father, let him celebrate many more in the mighty name of Jesus. And as many that have come from far and near, Father, at the end of it, or when all is said and done, Father, take all of us home safely in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of this. Thank you, our Father, because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord.